All right, looks like we got Coach with us. Coach, opening statement whenever you're ready. So, all right. Well, hello, everybody, and, and thanks for covering us. Uh, first off, before I get going, I, I really want to thank our, our students. We had over uh, 4,200 students there tonight, and that's the, the biggest student crowd, I believe, in the history of Wake Forest football. And boy, they made a difference. When we took the field and we saw that student crowd, and they were active and they were loud, and, uh, you know, there was a good group of them that stayed till the very end. And I can't tell you how much that means to our football team and just to all of Deacon Nation. Uh, it felt like we had a home field advantage tonight. You know, there was a sea of black. Uh, our players felt it, our coaches, our staff, and it makes a difference. And, and they're a big part of, of what we're doing. And uh, again, it was just a good overall effort. Again, our, our offense continues to play at a high level. Uh, I was really proud of our defense. Um, I think Duke has a, a really good offense. They're averaging 471 yards a game. And uh, we really played lights out on defense, really had a shutout until we subbed at the end there. And uh, it was just a great bounce back effort. And so we, uh, you know, we continue to keep our, our dreams and our goals alive. Um, it's, a, it's a great big four win. Uh, over a program and a coaching staff that we have a lot of respect for, uh, but really proud of our players. I think they prepare extremely hard. Uh, football is very important to them. And it was, a, uh, it was a, a really good win for our program. Fire away. Dave, how gratifying was it for the defense to show up the way they did tonight? especially considering the way uh, last week went at Army? I would say, last it was huge. You know, because it really wasn't just last week. We gave up a lot of rushing yards to, to Louisville and uh, Syracuse and then Army. And, you know, it started to feel a little bit like 17 again. And that bothered our defensive players. And I thought they played hard. They played with a lot of energy. And they had a lot of pride. And I thought we played fast. Um, you know, we had some big fourth down stops uh, early in the game. And, uh, you know, I think that really changed it. It never became 14-7. Um, you know, I'm still mad we didn't get that touchdown before the half. Uh, but then our defense went out there and shut down a two-minute drill. So it was probably, you know, up there with Virginia and Florida State. You know, we, we've played more good defensive games than bad this year, but that, that breaks a, a two or three week streak that we didn't play up to our capabilities. Dave, last week you said it's not the goal of this team to be seven and zero, and I'm sure that applies to eight and zero. A few moments ago, you said you kept all of your dreams alive with the win tonight. What exactly are some of the aspirations you and you guys discuss? Well, I mean, when we talked about going from, from good to great, uh, you know, we talked about being a program that would be nationally ranked. Um, we want to keep that going. Uh, we wanted to be a team that had a chance to compete for the ACC championship going into November and then get to Charlotte. Um, and, you know, we want to be the best team in the state, you know, and, and certainly there's a dream and a, an aspirational goal of, of being, you know, involved in the college football playoff talk. You know, so much of that doesn't come down to record. It comes down to rankings and a committee. Uh, but we want to be in that discussion. And, uh, you know, I think with how we played today, uh, hopefully we're in that discussion. And if we want to stay in that discussion, we got to continue to play well. If you address the um, uh, Hey, slow down there. Michael, could you address the high level that, that Sam Hartman is playing at right now and just kind of the, the, the connection he has with all his receivers at this point? Yeah, a lot of that connection, I think, developed last year. Um, I, I've told you guys this before that uh, 
you know, when we started the 20 season, I told the staff that the most important thing is let's not screw up 21. You know, I didn't know if you're we going to play one game or 12 games or six games. Um, but if you looked at our roster a year ago and who potentially could be coming back in 21, I really thought this year had a, a chance to be a special season. And I think Sam last year, you know, throwing to Taylor Moran and throwing to Jaquari and throwing to, we thought we'd have Donovan Green and Chapman and Whiteheart and it, the way a Torian Perry has stepped up. And I thought Jamal Banks and Keyshawn Williams made good plays. And the important thing is those guys just keep getting better. And, and that's what good football players do. And that's what players do who love playing football is they get better. And I, and I think we're still improving. And uh, I think we're a good football team. I think we can still play better. And that's what makes it so exciting. I think we got some really good football ahead of us. And at the same time, realizing we got some really tough teams still on the schedule. Coach Lawson, Andrew Snorton with Status Network. First off, congratulations on today's win. Reiterate the importance of how the 1-0 every week theme aligns with what you're trying to accomplish this season. Well, I, you know, part of it was a, a dangerous lesson we learned in 2019. You know, we were 7-1 and one and we were ranked in the college football playoff rankings and you know, all of our players were told that they were first round draft picks and all Americans and all this and all that. And, you know, we started thinking about how we were going to win 10 games before we won eight. And then we never won nine. And we just got ahead of ourselves. I, I thought uh, we stopped that weekly grind. I thought guys, some guys got selfish. Um, we lost a team focus. And, uh, you know, I thought we lost some games at the end of the season we shouldn't lose. And so we've tried to use 19 as a reference of, you know, it's just the next week. You know, in football, you're, you're always a, a week, you're always seven days away from humility. And so right now we're 8 0 and top of the world. And, you know, we go to Chapel Hill next week and play a really talented, uh, well coached, excellent football team. And if we don't refocus tomorrow and Monday, you know, we'll get humbled. And our players know that. And so we en enjoy it and they should enjoy tonight and they've worked hard for it. But, you know, any other discussion other than trying to win next week isn't, uh, isn't productive. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Um, what can you say about Sam's leadership and playmaking ability to consistently lead this team week in and week out to get these wins that are so crucial every week? Well, Sam has really worked hard, and, and he's talented, and he's a good football player. Uh, he's grown as a leader. I think last year really helped him. And he's got some really good teammates. You know, we, we have good football players, and certainly Sam is one of them, but, you know, I don't, I don't think – the collection of running backs we have get enough credit because we share carries between three backs. Um, those guys are good players and uh, we're very talented at receiver and we've got a really, really good offensive line and we can run the ball and we can throw it and we do a lot of different things and we're doing them well. And, and Sam is obviously the orchestrator of it and he's, you know, the quarterback and, uh, you know, and he's playing at a really high level, but so are his teammates. And he'll be the first to tell you that. You mentioned the college football. Connor, go ahead. Yeah, you mentioned some of the good things that the defense did. How much of a factor was it to get some guys healthy on that side of the ball and, and see them fly around? It, it helped getting some guys back, no question. So, um, you know, we, Nasir – you know, our goal was to play him, you know, 15 to 20 plays a day and bring him back slowly. I think that went well. Uh, you know, we got Zion back. Um, you know, we're, we rolled a lot of guys in there today, which we want to do. And then at the end, you know, to be able to get some of the backups in there and give them game experience is only going to help us down the line. Coach, you said you wanted to be in the college football playoff mix. I don't know how much television you watch during the week, but Tuesday night at 7.30, do you anticipate you're going to be watching the first ranking? 
I anticipate I'll be meeting on our kickoff and our kickoff return team at that time, Josh. So if you want to tweet out the, the rankings or something, maybe at nine o'clock at night, I'll, I'll find out what they are. You got it. All right. Anything else for coach? Hopefully not. I think we're good. All right. We'll see y'all on, uh, see y'all on Tuesday. Thanks again for covering us and go Deeks. All right, guys, looks like we got Rondell with us. Rondell, how did it feel to get out there and uh, have a lot better performance than last week's? 
It, it felt really good because we talked about it all week. Even right after the Army game, we talked about how we can't give up that many points again, and we have to pay more attention to Tito. And we. Hey, Rondell, I believe you have muted yourself somehow, or somebody there has <laughs> muted you. There you go. But I, can't, just, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. One more time. Rondell, just how important was it for the defense to, to come out and have this kind of uh, display? Did you all kind of enter this game with the chip on your shoulder of sorts? Yeah, that's exactly what it was, the chip on the shoulder, like I said, from last week. And just knowing we can we can be who we are and be one of the best defenses in the ACC in the country. And we just got to get back to playing that way. And I think we did somewhat today. We can, like I said, we can still just keep going. Rondo, how do you maintain confidence after uh, two, Dave, two defensive performances that sort of the things that were a bit of a struggle? In the two, I think our, two people were talking that time. I didn't hear that question. How do you maintain confidence uh, after the last couple games? And how do you come out and put together a confident performance like that? It's just, I think it's knowing who we can be and knowing we weren't the, the defense we could be in the, in the past three weeks and just keeping our foot on the gas and knowing we can be better, paying attention to detail and practicing every, every rep, every second, like it's a game, preparing, preparing like it's a game. How Rondell. disappointed were, how disappointed were y'all that the, they finally got in the end zone and it wasn't a shutout? Say that again. Sorry. How disappointing was it that you guys didn't finish it and get the shutout? Oh, uh, I mean it was it was disappointing, but it, uh, you can't really dwell on it because it was last last few minutes of the game and we I think we played our asses off. So excuse my language, sorry, but we played our butts off the whole game and. You can't really dwell on that last that last touchdown. Rondell, was was the key to this kind of keep keeping Durant under wraps and making sure that you know he didn't have successful plays to start off on first down? Yeah, it was it was him mo for the most part, but the, their team in general, they were really they're a really balanced team and they averaged what was it? I think it's like five hundred, six hundred yards in offense. And our plan was keep them under 150 yards, which I think we they just got over that. And uh, communication issues we should have fixed, but yeah, keeping keeping 21 and then the quarterback runs, we got to obviously stop. Rondell, I know you guys have a one and no mentality, but how good does it feel to be eight and no on the season? Uh, it it feels good. The one and no mentality is it keeps us balanced, it keeps us level headed, but the eight, eight and no, like seeing eight and no and Whatever ranking we're going to be is cool, but it it's it's easy to get like washed away in the noise. So the one no the one no thing keeps us level headed. Anything else, Rondo? All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got Sam Hartman with us, guys. Sam, can we talk about the chemistry that uh, that you got with your with your receivers and how that's grown and 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 how high of a level you guys are playing at right now offensively? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's you know it 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 looks and feels uh, really good and. Um, I mean, it's a credit to those guys, you know, they, they're going up and making plays on the ball and um, obviously getting open. And, and then again, I mean, it goes to the line and the tight ends and the running backs. I mean, you see them in protection, they're making those big blocks. And again, none of that gets off the ground if they don't make those blocks and, uh, and you know, kind of sacrifice their body for it. And um, it is fun. And, and uh, you know, I have a lot of trust and, you know, you, I think we hit, um, you know, everybody in the two deep, uh, I want to say, right. And I mean, that's, you know, that's impressive in a game like that to, you know, even it's, you know, we're moving the ball down the field. There's not really any, uh, um, the guys that we, you know, you want you're like, oh, I don't know if I trust them. Like it's, it's a, it's a very fun thing. And yeah, the chemistry is pretty, pretty high. 
Hey, Sam, congrats on the win. Uh, it seemed like you guys were firing really on all cylinders all afternoon today and playing as a collective unit. Uh, what can you say about the resiliency of this team and how you guys consistently win games week in and week out and when it matters most? Um, I think we just rely on each other. I think, uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we have resiliency and, you know, we're a tough football team. And I, I think it's just there's that bond and there's that, you know, that uh, that grit, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, we have. And um, and it's 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 just guys play for each other, not playing for themselves. And, and that's going to be the biggest challenge is, you know, you get the accolades, you get the awards, you get the ACC player of the weeks. And it's can we keep playing for ourselves or for each other and, and not play for ourselves? And um, and it, it, it's enjoyable, though. I mean, the success, you know, we've 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 earned the success, but nothing's going to be given for the rest of the year. And um, we're going to have to, you know, keep showing up and keep being consistent. Thank you. Thank you. Sam, was the was the late first half uh, fault start on fourth and two probably as frustrated as you were the entire game? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We were we were pissed about that one. And I guess the second question: How good did it feel for you today to, to make some plays with your feet? I mean, there's a couple times you scrambled, had some different arm angles, and found receivers. And then also later, you 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 scored a couple times on the ground too. You're able to kind of show off your arsenal a little bit today. Uh, I mean, it's just what the defense gives us, and uh, you know that the guys, you know, there there was open receivers, but there was also some green grass, and decided to take it and uh, run. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just what, whatever the defense gives me and, and what the play call, you know, kind of calls for. But, um, you know, it's just the flow of the game. And, and sometimes you have to run and sometimes you don't. Sam, I know last week was fun, but given the completeness of this game and the defense's play, was this about as complete a performance as you've seen from your guys this year? Yeah, I think on both sides of the ball, we, we had good execution. And, um, you know, it is nice. Uh, you know, it's nice to see your defense have success. And, and, you know, they've had, you know, they've, they've been pushing through different, you know, injuries and, and whatnot. And um, for them to come out and, and, and really, you know, stop a, a good run, or a really good offense and who's averaging a lot of yards and, you know, had a, had a really good running back, great quarterback and some, some guys that could go get it. Um, it was just great to see our defense. And we, feed, we rally off that. We feed off their energy when they make plays, make fourth down stops. And um, so it definitely does help. Could you sense anything different in their approach or mentality throughout the week? Um, I mean, I, they come, they come ready to go. And, and I, I think, you know, last week was a challenge. I mean, that's just a different offense that you don't really play. And um, I, I think that, you know, we, we, they go against us and they, you know, they're pretty, um, they do a pretty good job against us as well. And so it was kind of a similar offense that they're facing. Um, but I think, yeah, you got to answer the bell. I mean, they've, you know, they've been challenged and been tested and, you know, you, they could easily just rolled over and, and said, oh, well, but um, they, I mean, they showed up and they were working hard, but I mean, I think it's the same mentality every week. Anything else for Sam? All right, thank you. All right, we got your Corey here, guys. Q, how important was it to score early? Uh, I know the offense was on a roll last week, but how important was it to get the touchdown on the first drive to kind of keep the momentum rolling? Oh, I, I just think our offense is on a you know a different level right now. You know, I think every time pretty much we touch the ball, we got an opportunity to score. But you know, getting out early versus Duke uh, was 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 big for us, and you know that was our plan going into the game. Corey, I'll ask you the same question I asked Sam. How good is the chemistry right now between the entire receiving core and Sam? And, and how has that kind of grown? Um, I, I think it just come with chemistry. You know, we've, we've been around with Sam for, you know, four or five years. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, and it's the way he handled things, you know, just, just, how, just how, you know, strict he is or, you know, just how, how great of a leader he is and how confident he is and, you know, what do you want us to do? I think when you're around a guy that long, you know, it, it eventually it's going to click. And I, I think it's starting to click for us. And, you know, Sam is a great leader for us. And, you know, it's exciting to be around him and to be around a receiver unit. Ja'Cory, you have it on your shirt, good to great. That's the motto. You guys are playing at a high level right now. You talked about the offense playing at a high level. 
talk about the focus that you guys have had week to week to go from good to great and how important that is for you guys to stay on that as you finish up this season. Um, I just think, you know, these past eight weeks, you know, guys has just been focused, you know, in the, in the, in the meeting rooms, you know, in the training rooms. And I, I just think it's just this level of, you know, focusedness within the program right now, uh, you know, twos and threes, you know, everybody's just, you know, into it. And um, it's been like that since week one. But, you know, you know, we good to great, you know, we're, we're still trying to get to greatness and still trying to achieve some of the things we want to achieve. You know, it's exciting to watch right now. And I, I think it's going to go well the rest of the season next week. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Ja'Cory, Andrew Snorton of Status Network. Congratulations on today's win. Just like I asked head coach, and you've already described the focus, describe the one and know every week mentality and how it's keeping everything aligned with what you guys are trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, so each week, you know, it's, it's one week season, you know, one, one rep at a time, you know, one play at a time, you know, you're just focusing on, you know, your assignments, you know, just making sure you got the mental down, you know, physically, you're going to take care of your body. But, you know, it's just within one week, you know, Duke was one week, you know, Chapel Hill next week going to be one week. It's just, you know, focusing on what you got at task, you know, handling business. Anything else for Jacory? Or is it one more? Go ahead. <laughs> is it easy to tune everything out uh, in terms of the national attention, the spotlight that comes with being undefeated this late in the season? Honestly, yeah, you know, I, I don't think, you know, we, we get, we're getting the respect that we deserve. Uh, so, you know, we got to keep pushing. We got to keep fighting, uh, got to keep battling, got to keep winning football games, you know, um, try not to even worry about, you know, the national spotlight. Just want to keep getting after it, keep making plays, you know, keep going one and no each week. And, um, you know, I, I'm just happy for, for our group receiver room, you know, guys really stepped up and, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's just getting it more exciting, you know. All right. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. All right. We got Chase here to wrap us up tonight, guys. Questions for Chase. Chase, just, I guess, how complete of a performance was this for the defense? Uh, I think it was a, a really good performance for us um, defensively. But I think the offense really helped us out, too, and we feed off their energy. So when they're flying around making plays, you know, A.T., Quarry, Taylor, all those guys making big catches, it helps us feed off of them and helps us play even better. We talked earlier in the week on the phone about how much – it would matter to you guys to get off to a fast start on defense. And did you feel like that played a factor with a couple fourth down stops and the turnover? Yeah, I think so. I think anytime, uh, you know, you can get off the field on third and fourth down early, it just kind of gets the ball rolling and allows us to build momentum and, and just keep playing fast and having fun out there. Chasing a 45 to seven win, you can't really focus on like one play, but I remember early in the game, you you, know, you went out and chased Gunner uh, as he was heading to the sideline and forced a bad throw. What were you seeing on that play and how were you able to break free? And how important was it for you to be able to contain him to where you couldn't uh, you know scramble and get a first down? Uh, yeah, on that play, um, we were actually thinking they were gonna kick a field goal at first, but they brought their offense back out there and they were, they were in a two tight end set and the tight end to the weak side split back strong. So I was thinking it was going to be a split zone run, but I, then I saw he had the ball, so I just kind of took off and tried to try to go get him after that. What what kind of things did you guys work on or did you focus on this week at practice after, you know, obviously this isn't the triple option, but after giving up 400 yards on the ground, what kind of things did you focus on to, to cut that down and, and to be able to stop the run a little bit better? Uh, I would say just trying to get back to playing our brand of defense, focus on the fundamentals, you know, getting off blocks, tackling, and just really being able to defend like an offense is not the, the option. So it was refreshing to get back to defending an offense that we're going to see more of. And just I think that, that those are the things we focused on this week.
Anything else for Chase? All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys. That'll wrap us up tonight, guys. Thanks.